All right, what's the next one? All right, Oliver, this one's for you. The Captain of the Storm. There is Jesus asleep in the boat. The sun was going down. The air was warm and still. Let's go across the lake, Jesus said to his friends. Jesus had been helping people all day and now he was tired. So he left the crowds at the shore and set out in a small fishing boat. Jesus climbed into the boat to take a nap. As soon as his head touched the pillow, he fell fast asleep. It was a beautiful evening. A gentle breeze rustled, rustled through the sails. The friends were chatting happily as they headed out into the middle of the lake. Everything was perfect, just right for a nice, quiet sail. Hmm, not sure it's gonna last, oh no. Hope you guys can see this, I am outside right now. That's a shadow of my head on there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Whoa, that does look like a big storm. There's lightning, see the waves, whoa. Huge waves and green scary water and there's the boat on the side. They were only about halfway across now when out of nowhere, whirling winds swept across the lake, fierce and strong like a hurricane. A blinding flash of lightning lit up the sky. Thunder roared right overhead. The storm blew the water into towering waves that hurled the little boat up and up and up and sent it hurling, crashing all the way back down. The fishing boat was blown and buffeted and tossed and turned back and forth, up and down, left and right, and round and round. And in the middle of the storm, Jesus was sleeping. Can I see him right in there? That's him. <laughs> Jesus is sleeping. Jesus' friends had been fishermen all their lives, but in all their years fishing on this lake, they had never once seen a storm like this one. No matter how hard they struggled with their ropes and sails, they couldn't control their boat. This storm was too big. But the storm wasn't too big for Jesus. Help, they screamed, wake up, quick, Jesus. Jesus opened his eyes. Rescue us, save us, they shrieked. Don't you care? Hmm. Of course Jesus cared. This was the very reason he had come, to rescue them and to save them. Jesus stood up and spoke to the storm. Hush, he said. That was all, and the strangest thing happened. He told them to be still. What do you think happened? Do you think that they obeyed the waves? The wind and the waves recognized Jesus' voice. They had heard it before, of course. It was the same voice that made them in the very beginning. They listened to Jesus and did what, they, what he said. Immediately the wind stopped. The water calmed down. It glittered innocently in the moonlight and lapped quietly against the side of the boat as if nothing had happened. The little boat bobbed gently up and down. There was a deep stillness and a great quiet all around. Jesus turned to his wind-torn torn friends. Why were you scared, he asked. Did you forget who I am? Did you believe your fears instead of me? Jesus' friends were quiet, as quiet as the storm and the waves as the wind and the waves, sorry. And into their hearts came a different kind of storm. What kind of man is this? They asked them, themselves anxiously. Even the winds and the waves obey him, they said, because they didn't understand. They didn't realize yet that Jesus was the son of God. Jesus' friends had been so afraid that they only had seen the big waves. They had forgotten that if Jesus was with them, they had nothing to be afraid about. No matter how small their boat or how big the storm. 